Welcome back to this video. We are on the series of the Databricks. In the previous video, if you see, we created two different tasks inside the job. And job was inside the workspace. So that was the manual process. Now we are using the language that is called infrastructure as a code. So we are using the Terraform to achieve this task. You see this job with two different tasks and you can see the dependency here. Same dependency and same task I am going to cover using the Terraform. So in this video, I will use the Terraform to create the Databricks workspace and then I will create the cluster, then a job and job will have the different task, multiple tasks. Do one thing first, download the latest version from here terraform.io downloads here you can see md64 i'm actually i'm using the windows so i selected this one and i downloaded this one and unzip it and put it into the same folder where you have terraform.exe let me give the details about the version so do one thing you can use the terminal click here and uh, click on new terminal or you can do one thing you just go into your folder where you have the Terraform program type cmd and type terraform v hyphen v so you can see the version 1.3 this is the version I am using in this program and a version of the Databricks provider that is 0.6.0 and the your version is 2.46 okay so, so let me explain you the thing before proceeding on this video i can ask you the question can i use the multiple providers into one terraform program answer is yes here you can see generally we never do it but that is a different case azure will create the access token to the databricks then only we can utilize the Databricks. So here you can see two different providers are there. First one is you can see Azure that I am going to use. Second one is the Databricks. And here I leave this uh, portion. I'm just, I just added. And let me remove this one that is not required. Then I'm creating the resource group inside the Azure. I have the name. I am using the variables so actually uh, let me explain you the variables as well Azure group so if you go inside the variables I have the Azure group a variable value is RG7 you can you can put whatever you want with this name Azure resource group would be created then I am creating the workspace workspace and location resource group and location is the resource group name i am giving the name workspace if you see the workspace name this is the workspace name uh, kc workspace one then i will create the user as well and inside the databricks i will create the cluster databricks cluster here you can see the spark version the spark version you can see here the spark version would be 7.3.x scala 12 and node type here this is the important thing node type uh, you need to uh, choose very carefully because it depends on your uh, processor and all so it, it is directly associated with the, your budget so node type if you see this is the node type standard ds3 v2 and auto termination minutes 90 and here the important thing I am using the auto scale minimum worker and maximum workers so if you go if you see here minimum worker is 1 and maximum is 4 so this is the auto scale your these are the actually virtual machines and you can add the multiple text here only I am just adding one tag data science and after that the important thing here I am creating the Inside the workspace, I am creating the two different notebooks. First and second. You, if you want to see the name here, you can see that in the variable. Uh, these are the path. I can give more slices. Um, 
whatever folder you want to create but yes i created only two simple path retrieve baby's name and filter baby's name with this name so two notebooks would be created here and language is python so you know i can put more languages but yeah here is my requirement i need to create the python notebook so language is python here the important thing this can come from the different source like github and all but simply i just added hello databricks in both notebooks and the important thing i am creating the job job import here i, I have passed the parameters maximum retries maximum concurrent runs only the few parameters but yeah you can you can configure it in more advanced based on your requirement but this is the just only demo video i am just simply create the job with two different tasks means i am creating the multiple tasks inside the job using the terraform this job will use the new cluster number workers one as you have seen spark version and node types all these parameter coming from the variables and and in this job i am creating two different task this is the first task first task using this python notebook and this is the configuration for cluster related information and in second task if you see the carefully uh, depends on that i wanted to explain you so this task will start when previous task like this task is completed so this task will wait for this task so here you can see the dependency as i sh showed you in the diagram yeah here you can see this two task would be created and e email notification i can pass on success on failure so different kind of notification i can pass here whatever you are thinking how you will create the resources inside the ui similar way i have plotted all these code blocks into the terraform file okay so we are ready we can we can start from here i can do here and i can do here as well so first very first thing you need to be authenticated as a login so this will so it will take to you one um, page click on it here it say you logged into microsoft azure okay and you can close okay so i can close this window so now i am authenticated that is very important thing second thing i need to initiate terraform command is in it so it initializing the backend initializing provider plugins what are information what are the required information you can see here installing a crop azure rm now you can see the terraform has been successfully initialized now i am ready to apply the changes whatever changes you can see here but the important thing how am i authenticated to the databricks if you don't know you can see my previous video in the previous video i have explained you i am adding this video into the suggestion by going through this video you can set up your source principal manage identity kind of thing but here i am ready to create the resources inside the azure so currently you can see i don't have anything here this is empty playground now let me type terraform plan i can use the plan if i want to see the components what the components would be created through this program or i can simply use the apply because apply will also show me the component that would be created let me press enter button here you can see some different files also created i have explained you all about this all these files like these files recently got created you can see the details in my previous video what is the purpose of these files 
okay so now it it's give me the list of the resources that would be created like let me go up more up so here you can see workspace would be created resource group would be created cluster would be created job would be created and inside the job task could be created okay so it's asking me confirmation do you want to perform this action currently you can see plan 7 to add zero change zero to destroy i can say yes only yes will be accepted to approve press the enter button now it will be started it gave me the prompt rg7 already exists so let me do one thing uh, let me create with the name rg8 okay let me run the same command again terraform apply so again the window will come and it will ask me to accept the changes so i'm i'm pausing the video because it will take 5 to 10 minutes now here you can see apply complete so that has been done whatever you mentioned in the program all are covered no any error so let me go into the azure portal okay so here you can see cassie workspace one that is the databricks workspace let me click on this one okay so it takes some time yeah so here you can see the default setting it asking me so i can select build data pipelines or whatever you want to select based on your preference the other thing you can see cluster has been created cassi cluster one that is the name and if you see the summary you can see the work process one is the minimum for the maximum one driver and scala runtime version you can see 7.3 x and if you click on the workflow from here is showing the job one job has been created with the name job import if i click on this job it give me the details of the task what was the name you had given into the terraform files and here you can see the dependency first this task will be executed uh, once this complete then second will run and if you go to the users here you can see newly created user quota coaching one at red gmail.com so therefore we have created the terraform workspace job cluster and multiple tasks with dependencies and notebooks and if you want to see the notebooks here you can see two different notebooks are there so that is where to manage the terraform if you want to add the third task suppose so what you have to do you have to go into the program and you just you just add the third task you just add the next task you can copy it and you can put it here and you can give the name something whatever you want and you can give the dependency suppose it uh, it would be dependent on previous one and then you can run it again so therefore you can add one more task or whatever change you want to make you can make here and can run it now i hope you are comfortable to create the resources or managing the database resources using the terraform I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any question definitely you can write into the description box. I will see you soon in the next video with the new topic. Till then happy learning.